Partly proved significant tonight as Tottenham endeavour to break down a well-organised side, Spurs without Chris Hewton and Glenn Hoddle, who are both suspended. The versatile Gary Mabbott takes Hewton's place at left-back. Mike Hazard would probably have started the game in preference to Hoddle anyway. Like so many of the leading Belgian sides, Bruges are masters of the counter-attack. Jan Kuhlmann supplies the class and inspiration from a deep role. Up front, Marc de Gris has the pace and skill to embarrass the most competent defenders. The Belgian squad fully stretched, though, with a couple of key defenders out through injury and suspension in the reshuffle that are places for Luke Bayens and Luke Heindricks. Tonight's officials are from Spain, the referee, Augusto Castillo. Attack. Jan Kuhlmann supplies the inspiration from a deep role. Up front, Mark de Gris has the skill to embarrass the most confident defenders. The Belgian squad fully stretched, though, with a couple of key defenders out through injury and suspension. In the reshuffle, there are places for Luke Bayerns and Luke Heindricks. Here, Pete. Aggregate score, took the bruise, and it comes on the turn. What I'll do is I'll. Where is he? Oh, yeah, I've got him. Yeah, I've got him. Yeah. So, Mike Ingham and Brian Butler, then? George Hamilton, is it? George Hamilton. George Hamilton's final appearance on radio tonight. Is it? No, I think he actually might be doing a set out. his last commentary. It's all change. Who's going to replace him? Title Don't know, it's controversial. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Any goal could certainly prove significant tonight as Tottenham. <laughs> I'll leave you to sort it out. Kicking off from the left to right. And Tottenham certainly encouraged by their record of never having.
<clears throat> so what are we going to do then, John? You're going to wait till uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think you'll be lucky to find parts when we're doing the. Uh, yeah, we'll see. As I would probably have started the game in preference to Hoddle anyway. And you. Three nil. I'm not saying who to. This is from the man who guessed the crowd correctly at Coventry last week, on the sweet steak. I was six out, I hadn't got a clue. I just wrote down the first time I came to my head and found I won the sweepstake. Yeah. So a man to be reckoned with. <laughs> All right. Come on. You're going to be lucky. Come on. The hero of last season's final waits patiently in the wings. Tony Parks among the substitutes tonight. Indeed, he's not played a competitive first-team game since that night. Peter Shrees preferring instead the experience of Ray Clements, who's been quite outstanding so far this season. Clive Allen's away goal could certainly prove significant tonight as Tottenham endeavour to break down a well-organised side. Spurs without Chris Hewton and Glenn Hoddle, who are both suspended. The versatile Gary Mabbott takes Hewton's place at left-back. Mike Hazard would probably have started the game in preference to Hoddle anyway. Like so many leading Belgian sides, Bruges are masters of the counter-attack. Jan Kuhlemann supplies the inspiration from a deep roll. Up front, Marc de Gries has the skill to embarrass the most competent of defenders. The Belgian squad fully stretched, though, with a couple of key defenders out through injury and suspension. In the reshuffle, there are places for Luke Bayens and Luke Heinrichs. And tonight's officials, all from Spain, the referee, Augusto Castillo. There we go. Didn't have a lot of time to spare. So Bruges and the darker shorts then to kick off from right to left. A marvellous atmosphere here at White Hart Lane tonight. And certainly Tottenham encouraged by their record of never having lost a home tie in Europe. But Peter Shreves, their manager, knows they'll have to play a lot better than they did on Saturday when they surrendered rather tamely their unbeaten home record in the league against West Bromwich Albion. Came off Mabbott. This is Leo van der Elst, one of two van der Elst in the Bruges side. 
And he's the brother of the former West Ham player, Francoise van der Elst. A mild evening here at White Hart Lane, and a good crowd too. I would think around 35,000 people. It's Galvin back helping out his defence, as he so often does. And here's Hazard. And finding the Tottenham captain, Steve Perriman. And here's Stevens. Now, of course, in a midfield role for Tottenham. Plowing his way past one tackle. But here's Heindricks, who I think will have the task tonight of picking up Tony Galvin. For Hyen, and the offside flag raised against De Greece. And what an important player for Hyen is for Bruges. Indeed, Peter Shreves felt he was their outstanding player in the first leg. Bayerns with the header away. Now Roberts. And here's Mabbott filling in that at left back, showing his uh, versatility. Galvin. Promising run. Can he pull the ball back? I think it had gone over anyway. Couldn't quite keep it in play. But the flat play of Tony Galvin, always such an asset for Tottenham. Not able on that occasion to uh, pull the ball back to the players coming in. It's Berger Jensen, who raised a few eyebrows by taking the penalty in the first leg and indeed scoring. The Hyatt's head up. Time here though for Stevens. Haven't spotted De Grease. For Hyatt. Hazard. And the interception was by Mabbott. And Roberts showing plenty of composure. Now this is Paul Miller. Remember, one goal tonight will be enough to take Tottenham through. And there are the options on the Tottenham bench. Among them there, Garth Crooks and Gary Brook. Roberts. Now for Perriman. Pair of vast European experience. And though, of course, Steve Perriman missed the final last season because of suspension. Is Frankie van der Elst, the Bruges sweeper. Valens with the flick on. Verheyen. Valens again. And here's Hazard for Tottenham. Important match tonight for McHazard. With uh, Glenn Hoddle, of course, vying for that uh, midfield place along with him. Although Peter Shreve says if he can find a way to accommodate them both, he most certainly will. Hazard is Falco. Good turn. The shot was well driven too. And Jensen lost his grip on that completely. Well, he certainly is an eccentric goalkeeper. On his day, he can be a quite brilliant one too. He seemed to have the shot well covered as Falco turned there outside the area. Here's Hazard. And a goal! Hazard swerving it into the corner. And the Bruges defence caught cold. Berger Jensen simply didn't know what had hit him there. The ball curling away. And Hazard's flair for the unexpected has produced a goal here. The corner taken quickly. Just when we were wondering what Jensen was up to with the shot from Falco. And look there how Jensen is set the wrong way. 
Five minutes gone, and Tottenham have taken the lead. It Spurs won Bruges nil. And Mike Hazard, the scorer. That's his sixth goal of the season. The higher. The pressure is certainly on Bruges now. It's a real test of their character. See if they can come back from this. They were certainly relaxing before the game, rather contrary to uh, English teams. There was a stony silence from the uh, Bruges dressing room, unlike the banter you normally hear from an English team's dressing room. White Hart Lane really buzzing at the moment with that early goal, which really ought to bring the Bruges out. They certainly can't sit back now. Any thoughts of simply coming here to defend? And the crowd have seen the early goal from Tottenham. To Stevens. Already showing plenty of endeavour in midfield. Well, Jensen just getting there first. And at the moment, Bruges looking rather shaky at the back. Roberts was there first. Positively, too. Again, a good solid tackle by Roberts. But a foul. As Kuhlemans went down, Graham Roberts, I think it's generally felt, is the First Division's most committed defender, but he won't want a caution tonight. He's had one booking in the competition, and another one would mean him missing the first leg of the next round if Tottenham should get through. And Jan Kuhlemans clearly in some trouble. Now we can see the tackle again. Coming up now from Roberts, who certainly went in hard, and the anguish on the face of Kuhlemans. Kuhlemans, in fact, has been struggling with a hamstring injury in recent weeks. That apparently has cleared up. I think he's now got an ankle problem. Graham Roberts, totally nonplussed by it all. Kuhlemans back on his feet, but uh, doesn't look at all happy. And warming up one of their substitutes, I think is Verikon. And the danger here will certainly come from Verheyen, who worried Tottenham with the accuracy of his long passing. And he also possesses quite a shot from this sort of distance. There he is! And it wasn't far away. Struck with awesome power by René Verheyen. Curling it round the wall. And away from the post. Good run through the middle by Stevens. Well spotted too by uh, Perriman. In goes Falco. Just clear away. Leo Vatnerels to the rescue. The marvellous ball play though by Perriman. We've seen the run through by uh, Gary Stevens. Fidesi has to show his pace. I think the whistle has gone anyway for pushing by Fidesi as he challenged for the ball. And indeed, a free kick to Bruges. Ten minutes gone, and an eventful first half so far. The 
kick on from uh, Kulamans, who's still limping quite badly. And I'm not quite sure how much longer Kulamans will feature in this match. But he certainly needs some more treatment. There he is, hobbling quite badly. Heinrichs caught in possession. Bodies all over the place. Free kick to Tottenham. Heinrichs, the offender. It's his first full match of the season, in fact. Luke Heinrichs, though he did come on as a sub in the first leg. Normally a midfield player. And he has a defensive role tonight. It's Hazard then with the free kick for Tottenham. Falco made the run across the area. It was Mabbott, couldn't get up. Here's De Gries. You have to watch this man's pace. Valence did well. Bahian, no offside. And Chidozi, it was who got back to defend. And just as well for Tottenham that he had. Or De Gries would have been away then. Stevens. Already Bruce showing that on the break they can be dangerous. Chidozi. Always away from Van der Elst. Mistake there by the Bruges defender. Jensen somehow fisting it away rather clumsily. Hazard going in. And the whistle's gone. Free kick to Tottenham. Defence just outside the penalty area. Not quite sure what that was given for. As John Chidozi had his chance to show his pace and got away from uh, Van der Elst. So some desperate defending now for Bruges. And a chance here perhaps for Tottenham to increase their lead. Clive Allen is there, and Hazard and Stevens, and Roberts too. There's the wall with John Chidozi, the Tottenham player, immersed in it. Jensen marshalling his ranks. The referee is still not happy that the wall is far enough away. I think he is now. It's Clive Allen. Off the defender and a corner. Came off the wall. Clive Allen, who's been in such marvellous goal-scoring form since he moved to Tottenham. Eight goals, and that's come from only 11 appearances. Chidozi, it'll be then with the corner. Falco and Allen both inside the six-yard box and no other Tottenham player actually in the penalty area. Certainly they'll be keeping an eye out for Hazard, who's outside the area. Mabbott's jump. Here's Galvin. Bruges able to bring it away. Then they've given it away. Miller. And Tottenham could be called here quite sure what uh, Paul Miller was attempting he certainly had some uh, criticism from his colleagues and here's Hazard now then for Tottenham certainly out to be quite a week for him so far he's been selected for the England B side to play New Zealand on his place back in the Tottenham side and got the goal that has them in front here Mabbott to Graham Roberts who the Belgians were telling me they feared considerably particularly at uh, set pieces the danger in uh, both penalty areas is Graham Roberts and Bruce grabbing it away for a corner him off for uh, Hugo Bruce this is Hazard Certainly most of the attacking ideas have come from Tottenham. Chance for a long throw here then from Mabbott. 
with Stevens and Falco the targets. There's Falco. Perriman. The Bruges defender storming out. No flag. Jetson's clearance was none too clever, but fortunately for him, it found Van der Elst. The grease is touch. Slight altercation. A free kick to Bruges. Verheyen, as ever, wants to take it. He's found the grease. They can't allow him any space at all. He's lethal in the penalty area. Bayerns, it's a poor touch. And that's asking a lot of Clive Allen. And Van der Elst, Frankie Van der Elst, finds now Heinrichs. Here's the other Van der Elst, Leo. Trying to send Vellens away through the middle. Chidozi, with a good jump too. Alan Falco, now then for Stevens, can he find a way through? Good play then by Van der Elst. Vahaya. Kuhlemans seems to have recovered now from his injury early on in the match. And a sloppy back pass by Miller. Certainly Bruges can ill afford to do without uh, Jan Kuhlemans. Who scored, remember, in the first leg in Bruges. Valens with the corner. The Tottenham have left just Clive Allen upfield. Heinrichs. Shadow there by Hazard. And a Bruges throw. And certainly defended extremely well against Nottingham Forest in the away leg in the last round. Held them to a goalless draw. They found themselves here a goal down early on. De Gris with the throw. Abbott jumping well. Bruges have got uh, five players in the penalty area, so they're certainly sending players forward. Again, a free header for Gary Mabbott. And if you're going to throw that sort of long ball into the area, you've got to have somebody challenging for it. The high up driving it in. Stevens failed to clear it, but now Tottenham have got it away. Galvin's progress was halted. Intelligent play again by Hazard. What a fine player he is. Now Perriman. Falco's got some room. Galvin away to his left. It's Clive Allen. Stevens. Finding Chidozi. Sprinted away from quarter. Still Chidozi! Well, he was so unlucky then. Sheer acceleration took him clear of two defenders. He simply had no answer there to his pace. And the shot in the end almost on target. But certainly his speed has added a fresh dimension to Tottenham's play. The high end with the free kick. Heinrichs. Van der Els, the sweeper. 
Bruges looking to play themselves out of trouble. with the long ball and Quarter couldn't reach it now has up he's making some space for himself he really is a gifted player Mabbott Stevens making the run he kept going too and it may well have paid off Galvin was on side Allen it's a good turn by Allen. Just wriggled into space, and the end he was denied. But my word, he's dangerous in and around the penalty area. It's certainly a lively start by Tottenham, and they have a goal already. Scored by Mike Hazard after five minutes, but here's De Gris. And Clements right behind it. And again, he showed how dangerous he could be on the counter-attack. Young man who's just won two caps in the full Belgian side. And he's a player who certainly impressed Peter Shreves in the first leg. You can see why there. Quata with the corner. by uh, Galvin on then from Chidozi he gets a fair amount of height for a small man the Bruce still pressing here Bayons at the far post and Roberts finding Galvin he drifted now to the Tottenham right and here's Chidozi Falco sprinting through the middle and Van der Elst rather crudely bringing down John Chidozi and they're clearly worried about the Nigerian international who's causing them all sorts of problems in the early stages. John Chidozi was rather disappointed with his sharing in the first leg and clearly he's out to make up for it tonight. Hazard then with the free kick. Now what could he do here? Oh, very little like that. Hazard again. Getting a second chance. With too many defenders. And away goes De Gris. With only 19. And what a future he must have. At club and international level too. Hazard. Well, there was no flag. Berger Jensen having to sprint out of his goal again. He's a very unorthodox goalkeeper. Though he can be a very effective one too. He certainly saved... Bruges in the first leg at Forest. And a goalless draw there. Hazard to Pedeman. Chidozi's gone outside him. Here's Hazard. Seeing so much of the ball. Falco offside. Dreadful clearance by uh, Berger Jensen. And they're watching in the uh, back row there. The England manager Bobby Robson, perhaps hoping to uh, pick up one or two pointers.
Roberts, patient approach here from Tottenham. They have the cushion of the one goal lead. They'll certainly be looking for more. Always the threat of a goal on the break from Bruges. Roberts, strong header. And here's Stevens. Finding Chidozi, who's onside. Clive Allen calling just inside the penalty area. If Chidozi can get his cross in, but no. Beaten on this occasion by Quarter. He was rather fortunate then to find Kulemans, who seems to have shaken off that early knock. It was too long for De Gries. And Tottenham can build again now with Steve Perriman. Now for Hazard. Peter Shreve's looking for a measured performance from Tottenham, and I think he will be fairly happy with what he's seen so far. Now Hazard, so much is stemming from him. Way by Bayerns. But Hazard in possession again. A go kick. Falco, off goes Galvin, does he have the pace here? He has, oh, Allen, Jensen lost it, and Clive Allen was there to steer it in. Well, the man is lethal around the six-yard area. Galvin with the cross, sent away here, marvellous ball by Falco. And Galvin had the acceleration when he pulled it back, Jensen couldn't hold it, and how quick Allen was to respond. That really is excellent finishing by Clive Allen. 27 minutes into the first half, and it's Tottenham 2, Bruges 0, and the second Tottenham goal from Clive Allen, who's now scored 9, and that, remember, in just 11 games, plus the one tonight. Well, Peter Shreves was hoping for an improved performance tonight. He called for what he said, his favourite G&T, guts and tenacity. And he's certainly seen that so far. And a touch of class, too. And it's really got this crowd purring with pleasure. Bruce away, but only as far as Stevens. Chance for a shot, came off Bruce. And away for a corner. And one has to say at the moment, Bruce at times appear to be in disarray at the back. And Berger Jensen's goalkeeping isn't helping them. He certainly hasn't looked assured so far. And just listen now to the encouragement from the White Hart Lane crowd. Galvin with the corner. Jensen stayed on his line. Mabbott had the height, but couldn't reach the ball. But he's always a threat on set pieces. Chidozi this time then with the corner. And the confidence of Tottenham at the moment, sky high. Stevens going up, surely a push. The referee agrees. Half an hour gone, and Tottenham leading by two goals to nil. And at this stage, well in command. Allen, another mistake, sending him away. Beat this time by Van der Elst. He had to go it alone, really, there. He thumps his side in frustration.
Kulovac now to Van der Elst. Offside. De Vries was the player going in. Quite clearly offside. So not a great deal to do so far for Ray Clements. Off goes the ever-willing run of Falco. Van der Elst back to Berger Jensen. Roberts was in strongly. Good anticipation then by Roberts. Well, perhaps Vellens heard him coming. I think I get out of the way. Perriman unruffled, showing all his experience. Now Mabbott striding purposefully forward. All to no avail. It's Clive Allen hits the deck. There's Kuhlemans who certainly is labouring. Seemed earlier on to have shaken off the uh, knock he got, but I think he is still struggling. Given away then by Van der Elst. Certainly made some mistakes at the back. Now can John Trudozzi make the most of it? He just drifts past defenders. Hazard. Support here from Perriman. Perriman back in there fighting. They're fighting too hard. Free kick to Bruges. Certainly out the force of the late 70s. Indeed, their last championship win was at the end of the 70s. Still a tough hurdle, as they showed against Forrest in the last round. Jan Kuhlemans is still limping. Verheyen. This is Hugo Bruce. Played by Roberts, who stands on no ceremony in that sort of situation. Now for Chidozzi. Again, he'll look to take on Puerta, perhaps. Or find Falco down the middle. With Bruce, who came across. Perriman, now for Miller. Waiting for some movement up front. And settling here for Hazard. And Berger Jensen safely behind that one. And here's Heinrichs. De Grace. Now for Heinrichs. Clive Allen for a good tackle by uh, Stevens. Falco goes down. Quarter. Beaten by Chidozzi. The fight match he's having. All mistake there. Almost letting it balance. Perhaps it still will. He beat Perriman, but uh, couldn't find the target. Eddie Valens, who's been a consistent goal scorer over the years. He's been around the Belgian circuit for a good many years now. Now Graham Roberts for Tottenham, who lead 2-0. And at the moment, certainly have charge of this game, with ten minutes to half-time. Push there. I Bayons. And again, Tottenham will push Gary Mabbott forward here. That's the target at the far post. Falco in there too with Clive Allen. 
There's Gary Mabbott. And it'll be Hazard with the kick. Just touched off then. Oh, dreadful mistake. Back pass from Verheyen. And how fortunate Bruges were to get away with that. Roberts. Oh. Well, I spoke too soon. Oh, that really was a marvellous goal by Graham Roberts. I doubt if he's ever hit a sweeter shot than that. Well, Verheyen almost put through his own goal. The dreadful back pass. Jensen just scooped it away. And eventually it fell to Graham Roberts. And just look here for the power of this shot that gave Berger Jensen no chance at all. 3-0 to Tottenham. They're really turning it on now. And the scorer of the third goal, Graham Roberts. And I very much doubt if he scored a better one than that. Just pausing for breath. 36 minutes. Graham Roberts with goal number three. And this is Tottenham at their best. Their most endearing. And just listen to how the crowd are relishing their performance so far. Well, the Belgians said they feared Graham Roberts in all areas of the park. And how right that was proved to be. Bruce with the head up. Bellens to van der Elst. There's Bellens again. Beaten though by Roberts. And it was good battling by Heinrichs. But to no avail. Off goes Galvin. And Tottenham really stretching this Bruges defence. Van der Elst. And he at least kept cool. Kuhlemans now for Hazard no offside Clive Allen waved on by the linesman Chidoz is arriving and across too close to the goalkeeper Kuhlemans looking to send the Greece away Worked up. Kuhlemans was in there, but away by Roberts. Who else? Having a storming match at the back for Tottenham. For Hyen. And Bruges certainly needs some inspiration from him now. Here's Heinrichs. A misunderstanding. I think the crowd will forgive Clive Allen that. Although he won't be too pleased with it himself. There's Mabbott. And the foot up. So a free kick to Tottenham. Who certainly lifted their game from Saturday when they really only got going after they were a goal down. Chidozi. Oh. Well, oh, just for once his control let him down. Five minutes to half time. Frankie van der Elst. Now then for Bruges. 4 2 down on aggregate. They really have got an uphill task on now. Tottenham in full cry. Galvin. Well, Heinrichs had no answer to him there. And here we can see again the sheer venom of this shot from Roberts. Just perhaps a suspicion that it took a slight deflection on the way. I don't think Jensen would have got it if it had been a true shot anyway.
Kulemans. Off goes De Gris. He did well to keep that in play. He really is extremely quick. His cross left far more to be desired. And Tottenham fighting and scrapping for every ball. And showing the sort of commitment that Peter Shreves had called for tonight. Here's De Gris. Tottenham defenders having to scurry back. As Vellens with the header. Leo van der Elst. And eventually away by Gary Mabbott. Hendricks Good intervention by Quarter and away from Perriman. It's a fine piece of skill. And Bruges have got players up here in support. Or will Quarter go it alone? It's a good save by Clements, who couldn't have had too good a view of that. And Quarter looked up and uh, sized up the alternatives. Decided to go it alone, and Clements got down well. It's Quarter with the corner. Coolermans and Bayerns both in there. That was Bayerns. And he'll have to do rather better than that to trouble Ray Clements. Hendricks underneath it before Galvin, but Galvin snapping back at him. And here's Stevens. And they're trying shots from all angles and distances tonight. And they've got a feeling that Berger Jensen is not having one of his better games. And they're seeking to take full advantage of it. Clements quick to react. It had to be two. And Tottenham in the end playing themselves out of trouble. As we move into the last minute then of the first half. Hazard and Alpha Mabbott. As Falco. Flag was up anyway. Perhaps for Chidozi being offside. Falco couldn't keep his shot down anyway. <laughs> Foul by Stevens. into injury time in the first half and there in fact goes the half-time whistle and what an exhilarating first half it's been from Tottenham who've taken command of this match goals from Mike Hazard, Clive Allen and certainly the goal of the half from Graham Roberts the promise of more excitement to come in the second half and we'll be back right after the break
Robin and Chidozi are getting past the fullbacks very comfortably on this bit. Welcome back then to White Hart Lane as Tottenham are about to start the second half with the news that Bruges have made a substitution. Jan Koulemans, their Belgian international, has gone off and on comes Stefan Verijken. Koulemans, remember, injured early on after that clash with Graham Roberts, so not really surprising that he hasn't completed the match. Verijken is on. He's an attacking midfield player come striker. We'll see what impact, if any, he can uh, make on this match. Here he is, the substitute. Bayens, Vahayan. In goes Roberts, clattering. Balance from behind. Maybe a strong man on the field. Off the field, he's the mildest man you could hope to meet. Miller, safely back to Ray Clements. I can only recall having really a couple of shots to save tonight. Allen underneath this one. And there in the top left of your picture is the Tottenham manager, Peter Shreves, who's made such a promising start in charge of the side. So it's taking over from Keith Birkenshaw alongside him there, Glenn Hoddle, and as well to our dealers as well, and Chris Hewton too. else to Vahayan. Bayerns. Bruges have certainly had more of the play in the second half, but haven't put it to good effect yet. Perriman looking to steady things down now for Tottenham as Chidozi loses his feet. And off goes Quirta. It's a very promising run, which was rather crudely curtailed. Well, it has a dangerous man going forward. He is, in fact, uh, Bruges' leading goal scorer this season. Though he's operating as a fullback tonight, he normally operates in midfield, and he's scored a good few goals in that sort of position. So Tottenham with some defending to do here. I wonder if Bruges can test Ray Clements in the Tottenham goal. Van der Elst is there, and uh, Verheyen. Both can be dangerous from this position. And the rest, good save by Clements. Well, he had to be at his best then, sharing all his experience right behind the shot. Well driven in by Van der Elst, who tested uh, Steve Sutton of Forest, I remember, in the same sort of position. And he really connected with that free kick then. And Tottenham have Ray Clements to thank. 
you can see the free kick and a marvellous save by Greg Clements. What reactions? Trudos has gone bursting down the right, but here's Hazard. Lovely flick. Allens was too delicate, but he has won the free kick. Hazard. Oh, Falco. Can this be four? Oh, it was a lovely save by Jensen. The Falco was clear then. The marking was slack. Hazard spotted him. And Jensen smothered the shot so well. well. Many good judges believe Berger Jensen is still the best goalkeeper in Denmark. And he certainly showed there that he has all the class and quality. He is at times rather eccentric. Chidozi couldn't quite wriggle through, or can he? There's Quirter. Here again you can see the vision of Mike Hazard. Seeing Falco, he sets himself up for the shot. And a good save by Jens. And Tottenham now will make their substitution. John Chidozi is going off. And on comes Gary Brook. Chidozi just... Uh, Slight limp there, but he's got a knock certainly. And with uh, Tottenham in charge of the game, I won't risk him any further. And on comes Gary Brook, doesn't get too many chances in the first team, so he'll relish this opportunity. Clive Allen. Now then for Brook. Another unselfish run by uh, Gary Stevens, who's covered an awful lot of ground on that midfield role. He really wants to play in the uh, centre of the back four, but in the meantime, enjoying himself in midfield, doing a fine job too. So he's Falco, and he's won the corner. Ten minutes of the match remaining. No threat at the moment to Tottenham's lead, but perhaps a threat here to the Bruges goal. Brook with the corner. Roberts is up there, made contact, lacking direction. Here's Galvin. There's still danger threatening here. Jensen staying on his line. And just tipping it over there from uh, Falco. <laughs> Player of much European experience, Berger Jensen. There's the header from Falco. And the goalkeeper right underneath it, tipping it over the bar. Galvin's corner. A foul committed there by uh, Graham Roberts. So Tottenham, despite a disappointing second half, tighten their grip on the UEFA Cup. History repeating itself for the second year running. They've beaten the Belgian side that's knocked out Nottingham Forest in the previous round. All the goals coming in the first half from Mike Hazard, Clive Allen, and the goal of the night, without any doubt at all, from Graham Roberts. A sterling performance from him, and Tottenham are safely through. 3-0 on the night, 4-2 on aggregate.